Wow. Hi. All right. Well, I'm finally, finally getting to do the vlog project that I've wanted to do forever since uh, since I found the Vlog Brothers in I think 2007 is when they were doing it, and <clears throat> I've been thinking about doing this vlog project ever since then. So, yes, it is a ripoff from the Vlog Brothers, but I am okay with that. On Mondays, I will be making a vlog. Uh, Wednesdays, there's Abby, and Fridays, there's Lauren. The video has to be no more than four minutes long, um, and if you miss your day or go over the four minutes, then the other two decide on the punishment and can punish you however they wish. What we're going to do is um, every Sunday one of us um, posts like a 30 second video, it doesn't have to be like a full video, um, that's just a question or a theme for the week, something like that. The other thing that we need to figure out, guys, girls, ladies, um, is we need a name for this little show thing. Sisterhood 3.0. Not we don't want to rip off the blog brothers that much. That's too far. Um, but we could do like like internet connection or something, which is totally lame. So I hope you guys come up with something better because I stink at names. Since we didn't have a theme for the week already, uh, I'm gonna just go ahead and throw one out there. I'm gonna say let's talk about books today. Okay? Okay. Good deal. After we got all that housekeeping out of the way, I'm gonna start my actual vlog. It's like having friends. Alrighty, what do you think of the jingle, huh? huh? Alright, I actually I have two books to talk about today. Um, both of these, Abby, were ones that you recommended to me. Um, and this one is, I bought this one with um, the Barnes & Noble gift card you gave me, so thank you. Okay, we'll start with this one because I read it first. This book was about a girl that dies in a car crash at the beginning of the book. And it's about how she has to like relive the last day like six times or something, and how she changes it each time. And that was really that was intense. I had a hard time dealing with that. Man, yeah, th this one like I I liked it. It was it was interesting. I got into the story, but it was kind of like at the end of it, I just felt like winded and sad and just like oh my goodness, this is I don't know. I I, I really don't want to think about this one. So I want to hear what you guys. I guess Lauren, you haven't read it. Yet. I want to hear Abby what you thought about this book because I'm. I'm not sure why it's your favorite. I, I mean, like I liked it, but I, I, it's not. I wouldn't pick it as my favorite. So I'm curious. Let me know. And this one, it's, I, this is the one I picked off of your list because it's called. It's kind of a funny story, and I was like, oh great, it's gonna be humorous. It's a comedy book. No, it's about a guy with depression, like clinical serious depression, that goes into a psychiatric hospital. He stops eating and sleeping until one night he nearly kills himself. Oh goodness. Oh my goodness. What what am I supposed to what am I supposed to do with this? And I have another issue with it. Okay, um, I, I don't know if you know this about me, Abby, but I'm a little bit of a hypochondriac. So the day after I read it, I like wake up the next morning and I'm like, oh my goodness, I can't get out of bed. I'm depressed. Like, you know what I mean? Like, I just I can't handle a story. It was it was hard for me to read. It made me think, like, because I think everybody has a little bit of, like, in high school especially, a little bit of that, like, idea of what depression is, whether you have it, like, officially, clinically depressed or whatever. Everybody knows the idea of what that feels like. You know. You know what I mean. You know. You're a teenager. So, this book, okay, despite all of that and me ragging on it and everything, I actually am really glad I read this book because it, I don't know, it just, it made you think about um, this guy's mental state. Like, he talks about how he literally can't get out of this stuck spot he's at. Like, he can't get out of being depressed and being upset all the time. I think I have so many opinions, it's hard to get them all out coherently. Um, basically, I don't know what I thought. I just, I, I felt, I felt, like, overwhelmed by the books, and I liked, I liked both of them in different ways. Abby, see you on Wednesday. <laughs>